What's going on guys? Welcome back to Dev Slopes. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about coding tutorials. Now, this is kind of gonna be a short one, but we're gonna cover a lot of information. So please stay with me here. Now, coding tutorials. Coding tutorials can be very great, but they can also be the one thing that holds you back from becoming a developer. And let's talk about that. So on the outside, they sound awesome. They sound great. You see a lot of coding tutorials. You guys probably use them a lot. And if you're learning how to code, odds are you're probably in this very situation. Tutorial hell. What is tutorial hell? So let's see if this is you. You're learning how to code. You're watching a lot of coding tutorials, these six hour tutorials of like, you know, learn JavaScript in six hours or learn how to build Netflix in two hours. And you're following along. And by the end of these tutorials, if you were to open up an editor after spending, you know, 12 or so hours watching these, if you were to open up an editor and say, you know what, I'm gonna build something. And this is one of the things that a lot of people don't understand that happens when you're constantly using coding tutorials. And that's not just your guys' fault. It's not your guys' fault. A lot of it is the people on social media putting this type of content out there. And the way that they word certain things is almost motivating because you see things that are like, learn JavaScript in six hours. Learn how to you know, build a Netflix clone in two hours. And you finish it and you're kind of like frustrated with yourself because you're like, man, I did all this and I thought I learned so much, but I feel like I don't know anything. And then you kind of start to question your own wits and your own smarts and you're like, you know what, am I not smart enough to learn how to code? Do I not know what I'm doing? Is, is this even like worth it? And then you just kind of stop altogether. And that happens a lot, that happens to a lot of people. And that's why tutorial hell is such a bad thing because you get into it and you're kind of burned there. You're kind of stuck there. And once you're out of the industry, you have no intentions of coming back. And it wasn't even because of you, it was because of the tutorials. So what I want to talk about is how you get out of that, what the solution to coding tutorials is. It's one of our methods that we teach at DevSlopes in order to help leverage them into high paying jobs. And it's the idea of project based learning. Now, what is project based learning? Project based learning is essentially this. You find a project, you start building it and working on it on your own and you learn as you go. Now this sounds scary at first, and I mean, it should, especially if you're in tutorial hell and you're like, I have nothing, I know nothing, what are you talking about? This method teaches you how to become a problem solver. And the reason why that's so important is coding tutorials don't really teach you problem solving skills. What you're doing is you're following along aimlessly a coding tutorial and you're pretty much copying and pasting someone else's code onto your screen. No wonder you're not learning anything because this isn't your code. You're following along as they run into problems, as they run into bugs, as they figure out how to solve problems and you're just following along, following along, but you're not running into those problems yourself. And that's the big difference. That's where project-based learning makes its standpoint. It's because whenever you're starting to build something on your own and you're starting to you know, actually think like a developer in terms of building a project from scratch, you run into your own problems. And when you run into your own problems, you have to find your own solutions. And that is where coding tutorials can help. That is the benefit of coding tutorials. So a lot of people get it kind of flipped. They think coding tutorials will teach you everything. No, 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 no. Coding tutorials are there for when you run into specific issues. That's the best way you can use coding tutorials. For example, you're building a project, whatever small it is. It could be a calculator app and you can't figure out how to combine numbers together like eight plus eight. That's where you can use resources like coding tutorials or documentation and you kind of learn as you go. This is how you become an actual developer. So when, I, when you guys are thinking about this, I don't want you to think about, you know, what have I done? I've wasted all my time watching coding tutorials. No, they did do you some benefit. They showed you if you even like code and that's what matters most. But I don't want you guys to think that coding tutorials can be your gateway to becoming a developer. Because while yes, they are very beneficial, you can also get stuck in an endless loop where you can't get out of. Let project-based learning be your bridge to getting out of tutorial hell. Don't overcomplicate it. It doesn't need to be something crazy. A project that you build doesn't need to be like some grandeur OS system. Like it can be as simple as like, like I said earlier, a calculator app, or it could be a passion project. And those are often the best projects. Passion projects, something where you're like, you know, I've always wanted to build a Pokemon index app. And that's something that you can sit down and like, you know, start building 
on your own and learn as you go and you'll be more motivated than you would if you just followed a coding tutorial and tried to build something after because then you look at the screen and you'd be like, man, I know nothing. This would be something where it's like, man, I'm gonna build this from scratch, never done anything like this before and I'm gonna learn as I go. And that's a lot more rewarding and motivating and it'll teach you more, it'll teach you more. And a lot of people think programming is just about the technical skills, but it's not. That's not just what people are looking at. They're looking at, you know, are you an effective problem solver? And things like project-based learning help give you that opportunity be, to become a problem solver because you're running into problems on your own. You're running into problems where you have to solve the problem. You have to take a step back and say, how do I fix this error? How do I fix this bug? How do I fix my code? And that's what matters more, not just to you, but to also employers. And guys, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to really give a, a, a brief understanding of why coding tutorials aren't always the best thing and how to effectively use coding tutorials and what's the more appropriate method to learning how to code. And guys, let me know what you guys think down below because I'm really curious just to get your thoughts on coding tutorials and tutorial hell, maybe what your experience is. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one.